Get excited, everyone. Get real excited. It's time for the hot spot. And this week, my fiance was pretty excited when we got our new home and he was able to control the TV and entertainment system with his iPhone. Now, Whitbread PLC, the UK's largest hotel group, is taking that same idea and applying it to its new hotel concept, Hub by Premier Inn, which will target major UK city centers such as London and Edinburgh. This particular inn will have its own app, letting customers control their hotel experience. Customers can book and check in online, as well as pre-select their room temperature and light settings. They can even choose which TV or radio channel they want playing in their room when they arrive and stream content from their phone or tablet direct to their TV. For more information on the Hub by Premier Inn, click on the links below. The United States and India have recently signed an agreement to launch a NASA ISRO satellite mission to observe Earth and establish a pathway for future joint missions to explore Mars. According to the release, while attending the International Astronautical Congress, the two space agency leaders met to discuss and sign a charter that establishes a NASA ISRO Mars working group to investigate enhanced cooperation between the two countries in Mars exploration. They also signed an international agreement that defines how the two agencies will work together on the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, or NISAR mission, targeted to launch in 2020. One of the working group's objectives will be to explore potential coordinated observations and science analysis between MAVEN and MOM, as well as other current and future Mars missions. I can only imagine how cool it would be to witness man walking on Mars. Google Glass has released two new apps that helps the hearing impaired and, well, movie growers as well. Preview for Glass allows users to view movie trailers on Google Glass just by looking at a poster. The app will then search YouTube for the most recent promotional video. Captioning on Glass provides real-time captioning, allowing the deaf and hard of hearing to converse with others. Your conversational partner speaks into the phone. Your speech is nearly instantly converted to text and displayed on your Glass. For more information on these new apps, click on the links below. Everyone has bad habits. Some people like to bite their nails, others like to smoke cigarettes. Me, I tend to bite my lip when I am extremely focused on something or when I am extremely stressed out. Because bad habits can be hard to break, Pavlock decided to create a personal coach that goes on your wrist, wait for it, and shocks you when it detects you are continuing with those bad habits. So here's how it works. Pick your action like exercising every day, be more productive online, learn a new language, wake up earlier, whatever you want. In the Pavlock app, you choose what you want to accomplish and Pavlock will break your goal down into easy, manageable actions. Each day, Pavlock will push you to stay on track and form the lasting habit. Pavlak then helps you find a partner or join a team of your friends because social support and pressure will keep you on track. When you hit a bump in the road, they'll motivate you to keep going or they'll punish you. You'll also get to choose your level of commitment. Pavlock can reward you when you achieve your goals with prizes and even money when you complete your daily task. However, if you fail, there are penalties of paying a fine, losing access to your phone, or even suffering an electric shock because the rubber band method doesn't work anymore. I, I'll stick with this. And finally, I know I promised everyone an autonomous robot this episode, but my lack of talent in computer programming and engineering has caused a slight delay. But we will be showing off the new RP6 V2 robot kit with RC5 remote and battery charger from Global Specialties next week. The RP6 V2C is an economical autonomous mobile robot system which provides an introduction to the fastening world of robotics. It is designed for beginners as well as experienced electronics and software developers. That's not me, I'm the beginner side of the spectrum. The RP6 V2C is ideal for educational curriculum at universities, trade schools, high schools, and of course, hobby users. With an extensive manual, lots of example programs, and a huge C function library, programming is easy and you can instantly start experimenting with your robot. We're gonna see if that's actually true because I'm gonna film everything that I do with this little thing. Well, that's all for this week. So we wanna know, what are your bad habits and are they hard to break? Do you think you'll still be around when man walks on Mars? And who wants to race my robot with theirs? Come on, I dare ya. You can post your comments below or send them to me at megan.zimba at advantagemedia.com. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in the hotspot.